How to Make Money in College Everyone could always use a little more money, especially in college. When you're in college, things can get expensive and fast. If tuition isn't pricey enough, then you still have to worry about paying for food and everyday expenses. But making money in college isn't as hard as you think as long as you know where to look. If you want to know how to make money in college, just follow these easy steps. Method 1. Make money off campus. 1. Find a part-time job. A part-time job is a surefire way to make more money in college, and if you're not too picky, it won't take long for you to find one. There are many part-time jobs that won't require many skills or experience. You'll just need to devote yourself to working several hours a week. Here are some great part-time jobs to take on during college. Wait tables. Get a job at a local restaurant in town and enjoy your tips. Deliver pizza. If you have your own car and are a skilled driver, this may be the perfect part-time job for you. Bartend. If you're 21 or older, this is a way to make extra money and meet interesting people. Mow lawns or help out with landscaping. This is a great way to get some exercise and make extra cash. Ask people if they want you to paint their house number on their curb for extra money when you're done. You can also look through the part-time jobs listed on Craigslist or reputable websites that are tailored for people searching for part-time jobs. Be a mystery shopper. All you have to do is be able to shop and give an honest opinion about your experience. You can find mystery shopper gigs online. 2. Perform You can find extra work as a performer even if you don't have the greatest acting skills or singing voice. This is a great way to have fun and make some extra cash on the side. Here are some ways to perform while you're in college. Do the birthday party circuit. You can dress up as a clown, a Disney character, or anything the child desires. Learn to be a magician. Use your skills to make money at parties. If you do know how to sing or play an instrument, spend a few hours a day singing and playing while keeping out a hat for money. If you know how to act, see if any film students or playwrights need extra actors or even extras. Some may pay for your services. 3. Share your skills A random part, time job or a job performing can be fun but you can also earn extra money in college by sharing your knowledge on a variety of subjects. This can not only help you make money, but you'll be able to build your resume in the process. Here are some great ways to make money while sharing your knowledge. Become a tutor off campus. You can make a lot of extra money if you land a private tutoring gig in town. If you're an expert in any subject, from Spanish to Algebra 2, parents will be willing to pay good money for your knowledge. You can also earn a lot of money tutoring for the SAT. You can be a private tutor or find work at a tutoring company. Be a coach. If you were the star of your school basketball team, you may be able to find work as an assistant coach at the local high school or youth league. Or if you can't find work doing that, you can even be an equipment manager. If you know how to sing or play an instrument, charge for your expertise. If you're a good writer, find work as a proofreader or copywriter. 4. Be a care, taker. You can earn a lot of money in college just by spending a few hours a day or a week watching over the kids, pets, or homes in your neighborhood. You can find work by posting in the local newspaper putting up flyers with your phone number, or advertising on Facebook or through word of mouth. Here are some great ways to become a caretaker. Babysit. If you have baby-sitting experience, even if it's from watching your siblings, this could be a great opportunity to make some extra money. If you end up watching a kid who sleeps a lot, you can even use the time to study. Be a dog-sitter or a dog-walker. 
If your neighbors, professors, or friends are out of town and need help taking care of their dog, you should jump on board. Taking care of a dog doesn't require too much work, but people will pay good money to make sure their pet is in good hands. House Sit College campuses are a great place to find work as a house sitter because they will be full of professors who may be going away on an extended leave for sabbatical. You can make a lot of extra money house sitting for people who don't want to leave their homes unattended for a long period of time. Method 2 Make Money on Campus 1. Find a Campus Job There are many jobs that you can do on campus, and it shouldn't be too hard to find one. There are a variety of ways that you can use your time and knowledge to make a little extra cash. Here are a few great ways to find work on campus. Work in the school library. Work in a local restaurant on campus. Work at the front desk in one of the administrative buildings. Work as a model for an art class. Contrary to popular belief, you won't have to be nude to do this. Ask a professor if he needs extra help making copies or doing other basic tasks. Not every professor has a TA, and some may want your help. 2. Sell Tickets there are a variety of types of tickets that you can sell on campus, and this is a great way to make money. Here are some types of tickets that you can sell. Sell tickets for graduation. Sell tickets to sports events. Sell tickets for any other performances, concerts, or lectures on campus. If you have a small campus theater, sell tickets for movies. 3. Find other creative ways to make money on campus. To make money in college, you have to think outside the box. You can make money without taking on a formal job or part-time job. Here are a few ways to do it. Organize a car wash near student parking. How many students have time to take their cars to the car wash? This is a quick and easy way to make extra cash and have fun in the process. Take surveys. You can make some extra money by taking student surveys on campus. Look for flyers that tell you how to do it. Take advantage of your school's psych department. This department will often pay students for the opportunity to discuss their thoughts and feelings. Method 3 Sell Your Stuff 1. Sell Parts of Your Body this doesn't mean you have to do anything illegal. You can earn great pay and do a good deed if you sell your blood or other parts of your body, as long as you are healthy. Here are some great things to sell. Sell your blood or plasma. Once you pass a few tests, you will be able to do this easily, though there may be some pain involved. You can make good money selling your eggs or sperm, but this can be an invasive and painful process so you should do your research before you go down this route. If you have long, healthy hair, you may be able to sell it. 2. Sell your school materials Once you're done with a class, you will have many textbooks that you may never need again. Instead of hanging on to them, you should sell them online, back to the bookstore, or sell them to friends or people you know will be taking the same course. You can also offer to take notes for people for a fee, just don't sell your old exams, or you may get into some trouble. 3. Sell Your Stuff You can make some extra money by selling your old clothes, furniture, novels, or any other old stuff you may not need. If you have a roommate and you find yourselves with two microwaves or too many fridges, don't waste time and money storing your double things, and sell them instead. Here are some great ways to sell your stuff. Sell your stuff on eBay or Craigslist. Try selling your stuff at the start of the school year, when students will need it most. Have a garage sale, where you try to get rid of all your stuff in one fell swoop. Advertise with big signs, just blocks away from your home. Take your old paperbacks to a used bookstore. Tips 
Be careful not to buy things you don't need just because it's cheap. Remember that you can always make money by saving money. You'll be making more money in no time if you save money on food, entertainment, and transportation. You can join websites that pay you to click on their ads. The more you click the more money you get and it's free, you can make up to $50 in a day. If you have a grocery outlet nearby, that's the best place to buy your food. The best paying psychology studies tend to be MRIs since they're somewhat intimidating. Don't let them put you off, they're shown to be safe. Warnings Make sure you know everything about a study you're participating in. Some extreme, but high-paying, ones may include injections or IVs. Be aware that ECGs can be painful, though not permanently. Ask about the procedure. And do not do MRIs if you have claustrophobia.